Queen's final response made Haz and Meg crumble. Monarch finally breaks silence on Sussex's cheap ambition. Angela Levin, a renowned critic of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, has claimed the ex-royals wanted the rest of the royal family drop everything for them over the Platinum Jubilee weekend. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reportedly expected the royals to drop everything over the Platinum Jubilee, an expert has sensationally claimed. Angela Levin, a renowned critic of the Sussexes, claims the ex-royal couple had expected a very warm welcome on their return to the UK. She added that the firm were rushed off their feet throughout the long-awaited events, the reports. Writing for The Sun, Ms Levin said, I think Harry and Meghan expected a very warm welcome and that everyone would drop everything for them. In reality, the royals were rushed off their feet during the four-day Platinum Jubilee. The critic went on to discuss the Sussexes' Harry and Prince William's ongoing rift. She claimed that Prince Harry could have come over to see his brother when things were quiet enough for a serious conversation. Instead he was with the people who aren't working royals and, as a result, had a furious look on his face. Adding that William had an increasingly full diary. In other news, Harry found being stripped of his military titles demoralizing, according to a royal biographer. The Duke of Sussex lost his titles after he and Meghan Markle decided to step back from their royal duties in 2020. As a result, Harry had to sacrifice his army titles and military appointments, which was reportedly a tough pill to swallow, claims Finding Freedom authors Omid Scobie and Carol Rand. The book reads, if his grandmother's validation of his experiences served as encouragement, the most demoralizing aspect of the New Deal was his being stripped of his honorary military appointments that had been awarded to him as a senior royal. As a retired serviceman, Harry would always be able to wear his medals, but no longer could he wear uniform as Captain General of the Royal Marines, Honorary Air Force Commandant of the Royal Air Force Bass Honington, and Honorary Commodore-in-Chief of the Royal Navy's small ships and diving operations. These roles had come to an end. Harry left the military in 2015 but maintained his links with servicemen through honorary titles. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge did not see much of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, a royal expert has claimed. Despite both attending Trooping the Colour last Thursday William and Kate were not spotted with Harry and Meghan. And the next day at St Paul's Cathedral, the couples were not sat anywhere near each other. Harry and Meghan were sat in the second row of the cathedral, across the aisle from William and Kate, with the couples not acknowledging each other or exchanging eye contact. Meanwhile, on Saturday, Harry and Meghan held a first birthday party for their daughter Lilibet, the same time as when William and Kate along with Prince George and Princess Charlotte were on a visit to Cardiff. While appearing on ITV's This Morning, royal expert Camilla Tomini was asked if Harry and Meghan had seen William and Kate privately during the Jubilee weekend. She told hosts Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby they had not and added, ahead of the Jubilee it's fair to say there had been some reports that they're on good terms and talking regularly, but I don't think we can conclude that they're on good terms and talking regularly if they didn't really spend any private time together over the weekend at all. The truth of the matter is, there's still a lot of residual hurt over the Oprah Winfrey interview, and because of the lack of acknowledgement of the hurt caused from the Sussex side of things, things are still frosty. Camilla's comments come her comments come after reports that Harry and Meghan wanted a photographer to capture the moment the Queen met their daughter Lilibet for the first time. The little girl, who turned one on Saturday, was introduced to Her Majesty last weekend after she joined her parents and brother Archie on the trip to the UK.